Alright, I know you may be asking yourself, hasn't he done a review on this before? Yes. No? Kinda. See, yeah, I've done a review on the Talon Shrike, which is the missile boat variant of the Talon that doesn't have guns this big that clip into the landing gear. Yeah, so I'm gonna help you make your decision easy on which one to buy during Alien Week. You definitely have to pick this skin up. It's so sick. It's the Harmony Harmony skin, I believe. Yeah, it changes colors. And yeah. Well, I'm not going to get into that because we already went over the exterior in the last video. If you want to go check the Talon Shrike out. And then watch this or watch this first and see which one you would rather have. God, would you just look at this thing? Look at the colors. You, don't, you can't get any better than that. Yeah, um... I'll put my loadout for this in the description. It's pretty much the same except for the guns are a lot bigger. I gotta go up. The guns are two size four. It has two size four hard points while the Shrike has two size two hard points. But that has a lot of missiles so you pick your poison. Personally, actually no, I'm not gonna tell you. You're gonna watch. The whole video and then go check out my other one and then you'll see here we are well not yet but while we're on the way I'll talk to you a little bit about the differences between this and the strike so the maneuverability is the exact same I believe and even though its little brother or big brother is a missile boat with 32 missiles or 26 or however many it has this thing it still has four missiles so not terrible not good It'll, it'll do the job. These size 4 repeaters will do the job though. Even better than those missiles will. And I believe these are the same exact price in game. They are the same exact price in real money. Which you don't have to buy neither one of them with real money. Because they're both available in game. Wow that was all at one time. Alright let's see what we got. Alright no hurricanes I don't think. So we are good. We need to start slowing down though. Okay. Uh, full power to weapons. I think that's what we're gonna do. Which one of these guys are closer to me? I think since the wardens have been lazy and not moving when I fight them, I think we're gonna go for the Valkyrie. Alright. Flare for those. Oh, oh, we gotta miss those missed that. Alright, let's get around him. Oh my god! Alright, we're already through his shield. Alright. Eating that hole up. Alright, stay away from that turret gunner. We don't want any of that. Alright, that's all of him. If you watched my last video, not my last video, but if you watched my video on the Shrike, you will see just how much more powerful this regular tight tight talent is. Oh, a little bit of overroll right there. Alright, we're Alright, let's not hit the ground. Thank you. Where did his buddy go? Oh, he's right here, right here, right here. Wow, that, uh... Alright. I don't like how far we... How close to the ground we are. One wrong move and you're dead. That cannon doesn't feel good. Oh! Alright. Alright, gotta hit him every five seconds. Make sure his shield does not go down. Alright, don't hit the ground while we're at it. This is this is a dumb fight. A stupid fight. Alright, and there she goes. Wipe her visor off for that one, because it was easy. Yeah, this thing is a beast. Uh, I think I'll go for another one, because it's fun. I'll see you at the next one. Alright. 
here we are at the beautiful ocean on the night side of Hurston. Let's hope we don't fight close to the ground like we did last time, because that's gonna suck. Because you can't see anything. So let's see how this one goes. I hope it goes as good as last time. Put full weapon power, power to weapons, full power to weapons. Getting a little too close. Alright, take cruise control off. Let's see what we got. We got a cutlass, two cutlasses. Alright, well that's easy enough. What? Neither one of those were on target though. What is this? Hurricane. Okay, that that's okay. Last time I went up against a hurricane and this thing, it absolutely destroyed it. So let's hope this time is the same. But being that I said that, we're probably gonna not do good. Which one of these are closer? Oh, there's another one? Oh, we gotta get rid of this buccaneer. Well, I think... Did he just... Yeah, he just fell into the ocean. That's nice. Oh, you're close. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, let's get around behind this cutlass. Oh, that turret is eating me up. Alright, let's get some shots on target. Stay away from that turret. Alright, try to get up under him and behind him. I don't know what's up with the frames right now. Oh, we are getting swarmed right now. Alright, so that cutlass is dead. Let's get rid of this one. We're already on his belly, so we don't have to worry about the uh, turret gunner. Alright, we're, uh, we're hurting him pretty good. Oh, he just flipped over. That turret's gonna get me. Alright. Why is my guns not charging, at, like, at all? Alright, let's get out of the way. Alright, get around him. Oh my god, he's hurting so bad. I am too. Alright, let's try to do something here. Alright, we need to peel out. We need to peel out. Oh god. Not long, not not for long, not for long, I hope. Dude, they're still hitting us. Okay, our shields are back, so let's take the fight back to him. I think his hull is hurt pretty good. Actually, I think we should maybe take out this buccaneer. Yes. That's exactly what we need to do. Because this buccaneer can get around us pretty quick. Especially when we're worried about another ship. The cutlass isn't maneuverable like this little guy is. But the cutlass does have more firepower, so we need need to watch out for him. Okay. Alright, he's dead. Alright, let's try to get his back shield down again. Stay up under him. Alright, that was easy enough. Alright, now it's time for the hurricane. The moment we've all been waiting for. Let's shoot a missile at him, actually. Did I just pass them? That would suck. Alright, I hate this. I wish there was a keybind for that. It just sucks so much. Alright, I don't know where the ground is. Let's tab, see where the ground is. Alright, the turret gunner is already shooting. Alright, he's gonna shoot a missile at us right here. Alright. Alright, we got his shields down. Let's try to stay away from that turret gunner. Alright, he's on the opposite side I thought he was on, so he's he's getting shots on us. That's okay, that's okay. Alright, he's hurting more than we are. Oh, overrolled a little bit, that's okay. Just, just keep the shots, make sure it's... Alright. There we go, boys. That's it. That's it. All right, I'm gonna go land and we're gonna go talk about this. The verdict is the Talon Strike is good for what it does, but this base Talon is an absolute monster. It has the maneuverability of the Strike. Obviously, they're the same ship. Just this one has bigger guns. Okay.
You know, fun fact. I've crashed or 30 k four times while trying to make this video. But anyway, like I was saying, the verdict is the Talon is amazing. It's got tons of higher power maneuverability. It's great. And the Shrike is good for missiles. But it has less firepower but the same maneuverability. So honestly, I would choose the base Talon over the Talon Shrike. They're both available in game, probably the same price, not exactly sure, but they are the same price in real life. But you don't have to buy them in real life, no matter what anybody tells you. If you want to compare the Shrike versus the base Talon, go check out my other video on the Talon Shrike and you see which one you like better. They're both amazing, but I like the Talon more personally. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.